Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to modernize the desktop for Windows and to just make it look a lot nicer. As you can see I've already done a couple tweaks such as my taskbar is invisible um, and also my icons are centered and you cannot see any icons on my desktop. A lot of you guys may know some of these tweaks but I just thought I would make a video on it just to make it so a lot of people have a nicer desktop and they're able to enjoy the, the professional and aesthetic part of Windows I, I guess and make your make your desktop desktop a lot more cleaner. With the first step what we're going to be doing um, is we're going to be going down here we're going to be um, well you can see that there are a lot of apps some some apps have their own, own icon and some apps have uh, like a uh, like a folder so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make it so it's just the icon um, so go under any app that has a file and right click on the app and go to open file location. It will then open up uh, your win your file explorer and you want to go back to programs. As you, just, as you can see, I've already done a couple here, uh, but as I just installed OBS to record this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this just the icon. So we don't actually need this uninstall shortcut, um, so you can delete that. And I'm going to move the OBS into the programs and press continue. And then I'm going to be deleting this folder. So now if I go back down here, you can see that uh, OBS is now here. Now there's two directories where stuff is stored. Just make sure you do not delete the startup folder. It may be empty, but just keep it there um, as that will be managing your startup items as well. Uh, as, you, as you can see, Cleanup is an also, also another app that's on my PC that has a file because um, I haven't done this folder yet. So we're gonna go ahead and move the one that I need, which is Cleanup, and then I don't need any of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that folder. And there you go. Now you guys can see that I have no more files at all on my uh, on my on my startup. What is it called? The, the, the start the start module, I guess. I have no more files, which is really nice. The next step I'm going to be going through with you guys is how to make the taskbar invisible and center the actual icons. Now you guys may already know that you can actually center the icons manually by right clicking and going to toolbars, enabling links, and then doing it that way. Although the software is a lot more accurate and also you can make it invisible. This software is going to be in the description. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to it here. It's called Taskbar, Taskbar X, and it's going to be in the description. You guys can download it and then open up the configurator. Once it's open, you can see that you do have some settings here, such as I have mine on transparent, so it has this nice, nice transparent look, so it doesn't, uh, so it blends in a lot like better with the wallpaper. Uh, but a lot of other people use blur. Uh, which makes it a lot nicer as well uh, than default but just personally I like the transparent so you guys can mess around with this um, I don't mess around with any of these other stuff uh, although you can uh, this is also useful if you do if you don't only want the cent if you only want it centered on your primary windows then you can do that or only on your secondary uh, that is only if you have like two monitors but yeah it's very helpful and you can mess around with that and it will automatically start on your windows startup another thing i'm going to go over with is that i don't have any icons uh, if you guys did not notice if you right click your desktop go to view and go to show desktop icons uh, this will show all the icons and then you can go ahead and do the other thing to dissipate them next thing i'm going to be moving on to is my icons are very small uh, some people don't actually know how to do this, so we're going to right click on the on the taskbar. Um, we're going to be going over to um, taskbar settings right here. And then we're going to be um, enabling the use small taskbar buttons. So when it's innate, when it's uh, disabled, you can see my taskbar is like, the, the buttons on the taskbar are very, very large. Uh, but then when I use small, it just makes them a little bit smaller so that I'm able to fit more on the on the screen, which is really useful. Another thing I like, I like to have this little search icon right here. Uh, it just makes it look a little bit nicer if I just want to pull this out instead of going to here. We're going to right click on here and go to search and just turn on the sh uh, show search icon here. Next thing we're going to be moving on to is clicking the startup again. Uh, we're going to be right clicking on like one of these settings thing and you can go to the personalize this list. Now personally I only have the settings and also my, my profile. So if you do want to, you can enable the file explorer, the documents, downloads, and all this stuff, and it will add the icons. It just depends on what you use the most. Uh, personally, I only really like like these because these are the most useful. Actually, I'm going to turn off downloads. These are the most useful. Just going into my file explorer and going into my settings. Um, 
but yeah, that's what I'm going to enable. Another thing you may notice is whenever I press my start bar, I actually don't have any items pinned. Uh, for instance, if I pin this to my start, you can see these icons. Now, what you can do to remove these is there will be a group up here that will say like uh, games or something. And what you want to go do, you want to right click on games and unpin the group and it will remove all the icons. It just makes it a lot more a lot more modernized and it removes the uh, the massive... I guess the massive starts bar that happens whenever you click this, whenever you want to go to a different app. If you do want to, you can actually get this app called Wallpaper Engine, which I'm actually going to show you guys right here. Um, it is on Steam and it is paid, uh, so unfortunately you do have to pay for it. But what this will enable for you guys is so you can have moving desktop icons, uh, moving desktop like... Uh, wallpapers which is really nice i have purchased it although it does take up some system resources uh, but you can get moving wallpapers which is very useful and i will leave this link in the description that's all for this video if you have enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe it really does mean a lot and i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day